I don't know if it's just morbid curiosity, but I wanted to figure out what would happen if you installed a 6500 XT into a computer that only has PCI 3.0 and worst yet, an Athlon 3000G. So we got our victim here, a computer that I kind of built as a joke. Honestly though, it's perfect as a home computer. <clears throat> so, this is not the stock fan that comes with the 3000G. And then you get two four gig sticks. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and complete my joke. Alright. As you can tell, this is a B450, which was the only motherboard that I could find that actually supported the 3000G. And it was only like 50, 60 bucks. So. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Gabe, this damn power supply doesn't have a uh, PCIe power. That's cool. I actually bought one of these adapters, so this, this is a low-powered card anyway. So, let's go ahead and install it. Okay, as you can see, my uh, joke of a PC is now... Like that. Make sure power is on at the rear. And turn on my monstrosity. Okay, successfully powers on. Okay, now you can see we got our 3000G paired with a 6500 XT, the worst possible combination. Now, oh, so we're playing uh, Black Ops 2 at 4K 60. See, uh, the GPU isn't even really trying that hard using 18 watts of power. CPU is not even bottlenecked yet. And here we got with the uh, frame rate uncapped at 4K. So you see, we're doing about 144 watts. 144 FPS, I mean. 